If you can hear me, clap once. Just once. If you haven't, if you're getting ahead of me. If you can hear me, clap twice. If you can hear me, clap three times. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Margaret Atwood. He found the level of the crowd. No, seriously, I'm Doug Ford. My name's Michael, I'm with the Canadian Union of Public Employees, and I am sad to be here to be marking an attack on the working people of Toronto, but I am proud to be here with Toronto's librarians. And I'm proud to be carrying my library card in my back pocket, as I do it every day. And I look forward to going in there and using that library card. Once the Toronto Public Library Board comes to its senses and gets down to some compassionate, intelligent work at the bargaining table, just like our librarians do every day in our neighborhoods. And I'm not just proud to be standing with you as a working person, but as a reader, a writer, a parent, and as a proud member of Toronto and my community. And we've got some other proud people who are proud to stand with you here today. We're going to get right into it. Uh, we got a number of speakers, including at the end, uh, Marina Riley, president of Local 4948. And the members of the press, thank you for joining us. Uh, Maureen will be happy to take questions in the scrum after we're done our rally here. So um, you can wait till then for your questions. That would be great. We're going to get right into it, and I'm going to have you uh, first hear the words of Fred Hahn. He is the president of the QP Ontario Division. Fred. Let me hear you, sisters and brothers. Do we support our public libraries? This is an important day in our history, sisters and brothers because you are taking an unprecedented step. You're on strike to support services that people rely on in this city, and you are drawing a line in the sand to say that our libraries are too important, and that we will make sure that we bring the public along with us to defend the work that you do. No library in this city works without all of you. It's why they're closed today, and we know that it's a sad day for the City of Toronto. But it is also an important day, because look around you, sisters and brothers, at the number of people who are here to stand up for their services, to stand up for their libraries, to stand up against this mayor and say, no, we will not allow you to destroy what we have built. Are you with me? to say to the library board that they need to go back to that bargaining table, that they need to listen to the people of Toronto who love their libraries. In this crowd, there are healthcare workers, there are social service workers, there are other municipal sector workers, there are workers from QP across the city, and there are many other trade unionists here not just because we belong to a union. But because we live in this city, because we love our services, because we love our librarians, we're here to say, go back and bargain an agreement that ensures the libraries in our communities that people rely on every day continue to be there for the people of Toronto. We will stand with you until that collective agreement is signed, because it is not just about that agreement, it's about the kind of city Toronto deserves. Thank you, Fred, give it up. Yeah. 